I'd like to propose a toast to someone who's known for joining organizations that can put agriculture in its best light, whether Farm Bureau, the Hort Society, Cal's Alumni, or the Ag Society. To someone who's inspirational, he can see not only the forest, but the trees, and get people to work together to collaborate and improve whatever situation there is to tackle whatever problems agriculture has. And to someone who motivates those around them to do their best, to be their best, and to learn new skills. So he joins, he inspires, he motivates to Jim Bittner. I couldn't ask for anybody better to have a farm next door to than Jim and his sons. You know, always willing to help, always willing to be there to lend a hand. His office is always open to have a conversation, willing to share. It's been a, a, a true pleasure, Jim, for these last 35 years. Well, I've worked with my father on the farm since graduating from college and, and before that when I was in high school. Uh, Dad's always encouraged uh, the business to grow and the two of us have used our collective knowledge to help grow the business and we're also doing more off the farm between Farm Bureau. You know, Dad's always involved in Hort Society. We've both been involved in Lions Club. So we're, all, we're both getting involved in the farm, uh, the community, and the agricultural industry as a whole. As a neighbor, we, we have always gotten along at, you know, sharing equipment, anything that we need. Uh, he's even shared his sons with me if I get into a rather muddy cabbage harvest. And uh, Kevin's always been willing to come on over and drive a truck for us. So he's always been a blessing like that. So I do appreciate that, Jim. One value he's instilled on me about that, that both of us really relate to, is we both try to improve the agricultural industry by getting involved and being involved in these service organizations. You say Farm Bureau, Port Society, I was on the Cooperative Extension Board, uh, I've been on the ARDP Board, he's encouraged me to do all of this. He's encouraged me to go through uh, leadership training programs, educational programs to help with the farm and off the farm. So it's a, it's a value that he has worked very hard to instill on me. Jim and I met at Cornell University. We lived in the same dormitory. And one evening, the group was sitting around the lounge as students do, trying to meet everyone. There was a young man there, and he was talking about where he grew up. And he said, we just gutted our entire house, carpeted everything, even the bathroom. And Jim Bittler looks up and said, we did that too. We carpeted our bathroom. And my mother liked it so much, we ran it all the way up to the house. And that's how I met Jim Bittner as a freshman in college. <laughs> that's great.